This is the Maserati MC20 Cielo. Now you might have seen our coupe review. If you haven't, click the link in our description to see that. This is the car without a roof. So let's see how it compares. Oh, but if you haven't already, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can see us driving more cars like this. My second time in an MC20, my first time in the Cielo, and of course it's raining like when we drove the coupe. I've got the roof off though because it's a convertible, it's Britain, and we buy convertibles in Britain because we like getting rained on. I think that's right, isn't it? How does it feel? Does it feel different down a road? Well, actually, at medium speed, I can't tell the difference. Apart from the fact that my hair is being blown about a little bit, it feels very familiar. It rides really nicely, steers beautifully on the front axle. The steering weight is lovely. I can't really tell a difference in weighting. Engine is beautifully responsive. I've got over 600 horsepower to play with and it still cracks 62 mile an hour in under three seconds. It will still do one mile an hour short of 200 miles per hour. So this thing is rapid, even though it weighs 65 kilograms more than the coupe, thanks to the loss of the thing above me and then the addition of all the mechanical stuff needed to fold it down into the back there. It's heavier and therefore maybe it won't feel so great on the limit, but right now at medium speed, it feels really very good. Let's click it into sport mode. Let's see how it sounds. And let's see how it feels at speed. Woo! Yeah, that's, that's quick. It's still really, really fast. Engine note is clearer, a little bit more. A little bit more there, but also at the same time, you don't get the whooshes and the crackles you get with the coupe because you get that coming straight through from behind you. Whereas now I've got the wind noise, of course, but I can still hear that exhaust note. It is really nice. In theory, I can get even more connected to the engine if I lower the rear screen behind me, which I'm doing now. I can feel a lot more wind immediately on the back of my head. So it shows you how much work that's doing. Doesn't really change the engine note too much, so I'm going to put it back up. But you can feel around the corners, the car still feels very darty, rides lovely. That screen makes a massive difference. And yeah, the car, the brakes still feel great, still extremely responsive and very, very, very fast. Now, these brakes are brilliant, they're brilliant. So it rides nicely, it does feel a little bit heavier over some of the bigger bumps but it steers really well. I mean, let's just flick it in here. We're in sport mode. Still feels darty, nice and neutral on the balance. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Still really, really, really capable. I'm gonna put the roof up now. Now, annoyingly, all the controls for the roof are in the touch screen, which does mean it's not the easiest to use and you do have to be doing I think about 30 mile an hour under to get it back up but I'm doing 26 mile an hour now the roof is coming up I have to press the touchscreen which I just find annoying I wish it was a button same for the heating controls as nice as it is in this interior to have it so simple I just want buttons because it's just so fiddly right roofs up windows are shut ah oh. I can now hear the whooshes. I can now hear the fizzes from the turbocharger by me. I can actually get a lot more of the engine's character with the roof up, so I like that. That's good to know that you don't lose that in this Cielo model. Hope I'm doing the name justice. Now there's a complex of corners up, up ahead, so let's just slow down and give myself a bit of room and let's just see if I can feel the difference. There's more weight and we've lost a bit of rigidity from the roof or lack of roof, so here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is pretty, pretty good. I mean, maybe, maybe there's a slight, a slight loss at the front. I think maybe it just didn't feel quite as pointy and it felt a little bit like the car was wallowing a little bit more. I said in the coupe review, which was on a much wetter day, but on equally interesting roads, I said that I felt like the car had brilliant damping and it was just able to iron everything out and then also you could carry speed through the corners. I think now perhaps I'm feeling that extra weight. I don't think I'm feeling any twist or flex in the chassis. It's a carbon fiber based car, of course. I don't think I'm noticing any loss of rigidity. I think I'm just feeling the extra weight. So not surprisingly, the coupe is the slightly sharper car on the limit. And I think over some of these bumps as well, when I had Henry in the passenger seat, all over six foot of him, well, you could feel the car just struggling to deal with the bigger undulations at medium speed. So I think the weight is the biggest penalty of this car. I don't think you lose anything when it comes to straight line speed, braking, 
everything on that was had so much surplus, a bit of extra weight isn't the problem. Just on the limit around the bends. Now there's one more mode to try, and that's coarser mode. So let's try it, shall we? <laughs> I love the thump in the back when you upshift. It feels properly racy. I know it's engineered in, it doesn't need to do it, but it does feel good. And actually there is a little bit more engine noise now, so I can't tell if that's more exhaust, whether there's some flaps or something that's changing the exhaust, or whether I'm getting something through the speakers. Now I must say, this car is beeping at me saying that the roof needs a service. Now I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, this is a demonstrator, it'll be an early production car, but I am getting a little light and a little bong which you might be able to hear, which says roof needs a service, probably to do with the fact this is an early production car. Corsa mode, the suspension is really stiff now, I can feel it, so I'm just going to go through these bends again. Let's see how she does on the brakes. I mean, it has really improved the turning. Yep, yep. It's just, just the extra weight is just a bit, it does feel like the car's a bit more fidgety. Quick review of this, what can I say? Still tremendous, still exciting, still thrilling, still beautiful, still a wonderful place to sit, reactive on the nose, really fast. I think maybe just a little bit of extra weight just, just takes away what I actually think was probably the car's best feature, which was how we could just iron out a rubbish British B road and allow you to crack on and have fun. Still, if you like getting topless, car topless, I can see why you're gonna go for one of these. It gets expensive, knocking on 300K when you tick a few boxes, but if you've got the cash, and if you can be prepared to live with a roof that might need a service once in a while, <laughs> this is a lovely thing. So that was our very brief review of the MC20 Cielo. I really liked it if you hadn't already guessed. Well, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up button and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you soon.